Oh, that's my ear. Oh, you got some nails. Ow. Don't do that. This is about how we start every morning. With my coffee, of course. <laughs> and your green juice? Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> Out of here. Ah, I got like a green juice mustache now. Honestly, if you ever saw the show on Netflix, fat, not show, but documentary, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, I watched it with my sister-in-law, and since then, I started juicing, and I mean like literally hardcore juicing, buying the vegetables and all that stuff, juicing them up, and I would juice them in a way that I would have enough for three days so it would take like an hour to juice everything and clean everything up and it was time consuming but I juiced for about a month and a half and I lost 40 pounds and this was at a time when I needed to lose 40 pounds right we needed to lose weight I needed to get that weight off my back to hopefully alleviate some pressure and alleviate some pain in my back and I've kept the weight off for I don't know what three four years now if not more and drink green juice regularly you know at least once a day and now I even got my daughter into it right? <laughs> she goes crazy for it if she saw me drink that green juice night right now she would went nuts she would have been screaming no my juicy my juicy but the point is it's really changed my life it's benefited my life in such a positive way It is a beautiful day outside, and it reminds me of a time when something magical happened. And that's honestly when I picked up my mom's camera, I think it was a Pentax K1000, 35 millimeter, all manual, I don't even know if they made auto cameras at that time, or if they did it, I'm sure it was expensive. But regardless of the fact, I picked up her camera, I went out into the woods, and I tried to take pictures of turtles. Just taking that camera and looking through the viewfinder, oh, I was in a completely different world. I was seeing the world completely differently. I was able to express more of what I felt and what I saw and, and could get it into something tangible that I could show and relate to other people with. I love photography. I, I mean, I may not be the best at it. I'm always improving, always trying to find out the best and new techniques and sharpen my skills, but you know what? Just having this camera in my hands, feeling the weight of it, adjusting everything, looking through that viewfinder, framing it up, just, ah, if you love photography, you know what I'm talking about. You know what it encompasses and, and what really drives you with it. But just being able to create something, I mean, ah, oh, I love it. Do you hear that? You guys see what I got? I want to go test this lens out right now. Alright, so I picked up a lens on eBay. It's a 20 to, I don't know, 35 millimeter, and it's really not much different than the kit lens, other than the fact that it's 
hopefully a little bit better build quality, a little bit better glass in there, it gives me a little bit better optical quality and stuff like that. But the one of the most important things for this lens too is it, it's an older lens, so it has that little focusing window on the top, meaning that it shows you the meters and the feet and everything, so you can figure out what's in focus and you can just dial it to two feet away and you know two feet away is gonna be in focus. That's beneficial to me because I can't always see the LCD, uh, the LCD screen on the back of this back of the camera here and it makes it hard for me to focus on things when I'm manually focusing on things versus using the autofocus. So that's gonna be a big benefit to me and help me get more shots that I wanna get. So I'm really just trying to determine the quality difference between this kit lens that I'm using right now and the new used lens that I bought. I'm gonna try to set them up just the same. This is at, I think, five or 5.6 right now. So, we'll, oh man, I'm shaking a lot here. <laughs> so we're really just gonna look for the quality here to see if there's any bit, bit of difference. Hopefully the lens I just bought is just a little bit better and it's going for everything that I'm hoping for. Okay, so this is the new used lens, I, or the used new lens, the used, no, the new used. Okay, so this is the new used lens I bought, new to me. It's been out on the, oh man. Okay, so this is the used lens I just bought. It's at 20 millimeters right now, I think f5, 5.6. We're really trying to compare it to the kit lens just to see if there's any difference in quality and stuff like that. But I don't know, I'm gonna have to throw it on the computer and see what the difference is. I'm trying to hold it at the same distance too, so it's kind of comfortable. I can get it way out here if I really, really want, but for the most part, right here is kind of good, I think. So my point really is, there's a few things that really got me into photography. One, it's just being creative myself and trying to find an outlet uh, to express that creativity. And that happened to be photography. It was drawing for a while when I got into an accident when I was a kid and couldn't really do anything for two summers. But really, photography was just it, oh, looking through that viewfinder, holding that camera, operating it, moving the dials and everything, and making the picture. And then it was film at the time. So you take the picture, you hope you got something good, and then you got to go and develop it, or I mean, rather send it out and wait for the picture to come back and see what you got. Uh, it was definitely an experience. It's not like it is today where it's like click and instant gratification. But then, ah, oh, it was so much fun. So really just coming out here to go on an adventure and explore was one of the biggest reasons I spent so much time in the woods and having that camera to really play with and express my creativity and express the beauty that I saw around me and try to capture those turtles or the deer, or whatever else that I saw back there. That really led me into photography and more so nature photography and, and scenic or whatever you want to call it photography than anything. And then from there, I mean, I, I got hooked and I really need to hone in my craft and stuff like that, but now with YouTube and doing the, the videos and stuff like this, it's really been a great learning experience. So this is really the initial test of this lens, and I don't know, I'm gonna have to check the footage and see what it was like. I'm gonna have to check the footage and see what it's like.